Good morning and welcome to Grain TV. It's August 10th, the day of the big August Wazi report. Joining me to my right is Cody Bills and I'm Logan Burgess. Cody, let's hop into the fire tip platform here. Take a look at how the trade's responding here about an hour and a half into the session. As we can see, old crop corn trading up three cents. New crop corn now up three. You know, a while ago we were watching corn actually trade down four or five cents. So we went from a big positive move to a negative move on corn. We'll need to keep an eye on that. Old crop beans trading up 39 and a half. New crop beans trading up 31 and three quarters. And wheat remains the leader to the downside. Chicago wheat down 10 and a half. Kansas City wheat down nine and a quarter. You know, Cody, we did have the report released today while the market was open. Can you kind of take us through what we've seen develop here? So some really interesting chart patterns have been developing. Absolutely. Let's take a look at uh, the corn chart. This is for December. It's a candlestick chart and it, it's a five minute period. So each one of these bars represents five minutes worth of price activity. And take a look at this first five minutes right after the report was released. I mean, we had a huge range. We went up to 849 and we printed lows of uh, 816. So we printed lows of 816 and then we came back over and we cupped those lows. About 40 minutes later, we went down to 816 again. We traded there. That was support and now we've been drifting higher a little bit. But seriously, there uh, I mean there's just been no no serious conviction here for corn. Right. I am concerned that if we go through these lows of 816 then we could impulse lower and the length that we've seen in this contract could start to unwind a little bit simply because the report just wasn't so wildly bullish. Right. Uh, wasn't wildly bullish to, to send us higher. If you look at soybeans, this is one thing I did want to show. We are trending. So we, uh, we, we rocketed higher as a result of the report. We consolidated and then we started going higher. Take a look. You know, once again, this is this is kind of the reverse of what we're seeing over in corn. Right. We cupped highs and then we broke out, and now we're moving higher. So it's going to be interesting to see where soybeans ends up on the on the end of the day. Certainly, we have that old crop soybean contract right now testing 17 here, uh, up 40 to six uh, 1694 and three quarters there right now. Uh, Cody, let's kind of hop into the uh, what we actually saw come out this morning here. If we take a look here at these slides. The top table here kind of shows what were the market expectations out of this report. As you can see, 127 yield out of corn, 37.75 out of beans here. If we take a look at the bottom table, this is what the USDA actually reported here. And as you can see, yield for both corn and soybeans coming in well below trade expectations. 123.4 bushels per acre out of corn, 36.1 bushels per acre out of beans here. Turning over to harvested acre, the harvested acre figure here reported by the USDA, uh, four beans coming in in line with expectations, but corn here, as you can see, quite a bit higher here than what the trade was expecting. But really, the, the really interesting thing here that we were looking at was the ending stocks figure. As you can see here for corn, they reported a uh, projected ending stocks actually lower than what the trade was expecting here by about 10 million bushels. Uh, pretty much in line with expectations here for beans, coming in higher than trade expectations, and then wheat there coming in higher as well. But the one thing that we really need to keep an eye on here is demand destruction at these, at these current price levels. You know, out of today's report, we did see a 400 million bushel uh, reduction in the expected corn going to ethanol production. We saw a uh, reduction in expected exports on the corn front of about 300 million bushels. And really one of the big figures here that are going to get people talking, 725 million bushels of corn less expected to be used in feeding operations here around these price levels. You know, the, the demand side of the scenario has really been on the back burner here for a while as everyone is focused with uh, the production side, but it's really going to be brought to the forefront here, I believe, in the, in the coming months. Absolutely. I think this report really seems to change the, the game here. I right. think it's going to be kind of that pivoting moment where we start to go, uh, we focus very, very much on yield, and now we switch over and say, all right, well, we have an idea, at least an idea. And just keep in mind also, if we were using 88 as an analog year, uh, the August uh, forecast for yield was actually the lowest forecast of the entire right. year. So, um, so you know, if 88 is the analog, then uh, this may be the lowest that we see. Who knows? Uh, maybe we see some improvement as we see the corn uh, and, and beans come off the combine. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But I do think it's going to be very, very important to pay attention to the export sales, the ethanol production, and the cattle on feed reports coming up. That will be very important because you'll start to see uh, the actual demand that the uh, USDA is for or demand uh, destruction that the right. USDA is forecasting. We need to make sure that it's actually happening at these levels. It, we've already seen demand destruction in old crop. Right. Uh, you know, export right. sales, they revised, uh, they revised export sales for corn down significantly, and beans, they uh, revised that up. So um, I think for beans in particular, pay close attention to export sales here 
uh, because it has been so strong at these price levels. Certainly, certainly. Well, here on Grain TV, we'll keep you posted on the demand side of the scenario here as we move into harvest uh, for the grain complex. That kind of wraps up our show, though, for Friday morning on Grain TV here. Thanks a lot for joining us. Have a great day. Thank you.